it's sleek, it's fast, it's beautiful, but it's going down. What's up, people? It's your boy Jatuan. I'm here today back in KSP. Now, I wanted to take on a challenge that was given to me over on YouTube, which was to see how fast I could take Stockcraft versus the Fire Spitter Modcraft. So, I'm going to go ahead and try to take that on, and also I'm going to try to take on the SR-71. Let me go ahead and drop some of these stats on you. The speed for the SR-71, and this is what I'm shooting for here, the maximum speed uh, it was at 2200 plus miles per hour and that was at around 24,000 meters and I think I think that I can take that on uh, you can see here we have the rapier engines we have plenty of fuel there are no real fuel tanks everything that is on here has an alternate task so I should be able to utilize every last bit of this craft in order to take on this task. Alright, so here we are kicking our engines up a bit. We're at 65, 67. We got quite a while to go. Well, I think we're coming up. We're not quite at 2400, uh, 24,000. We're only at 14. But we are actually smashing straight through our target. And, uh, whoa, leveling back out. We have quite a bit more speed to give. So what we're going to do is try to level everything out a bit. Which I'm going to have to go in the cockpit to do here because I currently have my preview blocking everything. Okay. And let's bring it down a little bit, down a little bit, down a little bit. All right, and now we're going full speed, and we are at 1,000, well, 1,600. That's pretty, that's pretty nice. I think that is a noble speed to attain, and <laughs> we're already coming up on the other, <laughs> we're already coming up on our Midway Continent. That is pretty sweet. Um, so, yeah, you can get some pretty damn good speeds out. I know some people were interested in that. There have been many a competitions to see how fast everyone can get, and there I have actually entered in a few, and I don't think I won anything. But uh, I remember I had a stock craft that was at that was going 2,000 something, but that was prior to 1.0 arrow, so it doesn't really count too much these days. And actually, that was pretty nice because nothing blew up. Uh, let's see, and that time is about 5 minutes and 22 seconds. So if Fire Spitter can get us over here, 5 minutes 22 seconds, and it can do it in a better speed, then I will be impressed. Let's, let's try a quick turn. Let's try a quick turn. Let's try to... Oh. Try to turn to burn off some of the speed. Oh, that would be a dead jeb. A dead jeb. Alright, there we go. And we actually maintain really good control, so this is a really good baseline craft. Uh, our electrical charge is dropping significantly, and that's okay because we're just coming to right on down. So, let me rebuild this with Fire Spitter and see what we get. Let me see if I can go faster better without any explosions and that will be awesome all right so we are back now we have the kr71-f and this is the fire spitter edition it has quite a bit more thrust to weight ratio so hopefully it will be able to outdo our previous and so without talking your head off too much let's see what this bird can do <laughs> so Fire Spitter has this one in the bag rather easily. <laughs> oh, oh my god. It is at 3200. And we're going to try to do the same banking maneuver to slow down once we get over land here. We're at 3300. Oh, 
crushing the G's. And our time is about four minutes. And. And crash? Game crash! <laughs> Alright, so we are back, and this time I have a different craft. This one is using propellers, but hopefully we can get up to speed so we're just gonna go ahead and take this one for a test drive and see what happens once we get airborne now these are the Lancaster engines from fire spitter they actually have quite a bit of thrust available to them and they have a decent um, uh, specific impulse well oh, breaks off breaks off <laughs> I almost messed up it completely up uh, and there it goes flopping. And there you go. <laughs> now the propellers on Fire Spitter are a bit more realistic than their jet engine. As you can see here, the thrust is capping out pretty nicely. And it's starting to go back down. Whoops, that is the wrong button. Don't press that. <laughs> I guess it's time for that grand finale. Alright, so... We're going to go back to Fire Spitter because I wanted to see what all I could get out of this. So as you can see here, we have six of its engines. Six of the FS-10 Oblong jet engines. And when this thing starts going, I'm pretty sure this plane's either going to spin out or explode. Let's find out what's going to happen. Alright, so we're at 7,000, but I'm seeing a very bad problem here is that uh, it is currently kicking us over to the side but we're gonna try to press through and see if we can keep this under wraps so let's try to aim it somewhat down here as best we can and throttle up here we go this is what we came here for oh baby <laughs> oh man it is cruising oh we have our first victim what's gonna overheat first oh we have even more I think that's all of our engines that are threatening to overheat probably due to the proximity to one another and there's not enough cooling going on here we're capping off here pretty early as well we may have reached the best that we can get. Ooh, I want you know what? For the grand finale, I would like some fireworks. Jebediah would like some fireworks. Let's see some bloody fireworks. Come on. Oh, whoa! <laughs> well, we did that wrong. <laughs> Let's see if we can get back down some. <laughs> we are currently headed on an escape out of curving because I screwed that up. I messed up. That was my fault. My fault. We're at 3,300 right now. Nothing has blown up quite yet, which I am really surprised. Uh, Alright, so we're back down. And let's see if we can level it back out some Ooh. <laughs> oh well we passed by our continent and uh, slightly worse time than before and we have things threatening to explode on us but that's okay I am enjoying this nothing has blown up yet look how close we are though there are parts threatening to go up in smoke right now. Oh, oh, oh. Hey! Alright, so we're going to try this one more time. The last time I did this, I actually had this center of thrust higher than my center of mass, which is a no-no. You don't want to do that. Or else you will flip your craft over like I did multiple times. So I have corrected that by turning the engines on their side, which should prevent that from occurring. Alright, so let's fire these engines on up and get off the ground rather quickly. Our nose is vastly higher, so that should be an easy lift off. And I'll catch you back at 7,000 meters in a little bit. Stay tuned. 
And that is what happens when you apply tweak scale to any of the engines. Everything gets increased dramatically. And, uh, well, this should be a very, very fast craft. And it should heat up rather quickly and explode. Um, that's going to be an unfortunate. Let's go ahead and toggle off those gauges. Oh, there it goes. Intake air deprived. Oh, no, it's fine. No, 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 no. Alright, ready? Jeb, EVA. Let go, RCS. RCS. No, 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 RCS. What are you doing, dude? No, no. Oh, he didn't do it right. Oh, and you just want to keep flying, huh? <laughs> oh, ho, ho, ho. he would have survived if he would have stayed in. <laughs> there you go that did not work out too well all right well if you like to see it hit that like button drop me in a comment let me know what you think what's your fastest aircraft you've created uh since 1.0 dropped uh your fastest aircraft your fastest jet not your fastest rocket we're gonna stick just to, to jets on this one what's your fastest jet that you've taken and uh, kept it under 24,000 meters, uh, 24, meters up. And what was your max speed? Let's hear it. Let's see your numbers, people. Let's see them. But for now, I'm going to get on out of here. If you like to see it, hit the subscribe button. And I hope to catch you guys in the next video. For now, it's your boy, Jatwan. I'm out. Peace. This is pretty sweet. Oh, oh. I'm overheated. I'm overheated. I was gonna shoot the tunnel, but uh, I couldn't get it lined up properly. That was tight right there. Whoa.